Hey guys, it's Mickey Merck. Uh, I know it's been quite a while since I've last posted an update to my channel, and let's just agree to not disagree that this is long overdue. I want to start off by thanking all of my supporters and fans for their patience, as we all understand that life outside of our hobbies can be quite the hassle. In this update, I will be going over everything that has a direct influence on the production of my content and plans for future videos and projects. So let's hop right into it. I want to bring it to everyone's attention that I am packed in regards to my schedule. So making time for machinimating is becoming increasingly difficult. But I hope most of you know me enough by now to expect that I would not let my responsibilities stop me. As of February, I started my education at Full Cell University in the Computer Animation Bachelor's Program. It's quite exciting when you finally realize what you really want to do in life and then you just go after it. Um, that's the only time school is anything close to fun. I won't talk about every little detail of the school. The only reason I mentioned it was because it definitely takes priority over everything, even my job. Um, so definitely over my YouTube channel, sad to say. I have also been having some tech issues and... The only way I can machinimate now is through an emulator because my laptop's display is it, it wants to work one day and it doesn't want to work the other day. So I have to use my TV as my monitor. Um, so this kind of knocks the Wii out of the equation. So I have to use an emulator, uh, which isn't too bad. But texture swapping is more time consuming than it is when using a Wii. So it slows down the process a little bit. But frankly, I find that using an emulator gives more quality to the machinima. So who knows? It may just be a win after all. And now time to touch up on something I've never talked about, which is newcomers. I haven't given an explanation on why I canceled the series just two episodes in. So I'm here to finally give you guys some sort of closure. Somewhere during the start of all of this, I mentioned it to people that machinimating for me is a means of practice with visual effects. I know there are some who strongly disagree with the usage of visual effects in machinima, but what I say to those people is chill out, like, chill out, man. There is no blueprint on how a machinima should be made. It's all dependent on the artist. Why do I bring this up? Because I canceled newcomers after realizing I couldn't really implement visual effects the way I wanted to. And if I can't do that, I don't really want to work on it because visual effects is my focus as it relates to my career path. Moving on, I want to shed some light on the shadows here and just inform everyone that the digital shadows is not dead. As a group, we've been slacking, but that's all set to change pretty soon. I can only speak for myself though when it comes to activity, but I definitely have faith in my fellow members that we're going to kick it up a notch. There should be some content coming out soon. Uh, but I'll save the juicy details for an update on the Digital Shadows channel, so look out for that. There is one thing I can tell you, and I'd like a drum roll here. Yes, that's right. With the help of my good friend Demon, who you may remember as the Draco421, we will be bringing back Ludus, uh, which will be uploaded to the Digital Shadows channel. Demon will be a very important key to the success of this comeback, so I very much appreciate his help and I'm looking forward to working with him on this. I have complete confidence in his sense of humor and my ability to portray a story to bring a better version of Ludus than what I had originally planned for. It will be a reboot, meaning that I would release a revised pilot episode. I can't give an estimated time on when it'll be exactly, but I am aiming for this year, after Chronicles of Brawl episode 10, which I will talk about now. I've seen some rumors floating around in my comments that episode 10 will be the last episode. Wrong. Let's get that right out of the way. There is too much to cover, too many questions that need answers that one episode couldn't do at all. 
I kind of backed myself into a corner with this series since I started it off inexperienced and not entirely clear uh, on where I wanted the story to go. But don't get me wrong, I think I'm doing a pretty good job at changing my problem into a, a unique story. Definitely some major plot holes that need to be filled, but I've sat myself down and went over and made the necessary changes. With that being said, I have rewritten episode 10, keeping some of the old script but adding necessary scenes that sort of touch on some of the mysteries in the series. Another issue I'm having, which most machinimators have, is voice actors. Since this is an unpaid work, um, I don't really expect people to commit to the series, but it's still a slap in the face when you have those who sign up and agree to help, only to disappear after you give them the script. And because episodes take so long to make, we're usually out of contact for an extended period of time, and it gets pretty hard to get back in contact when you need them again. So at this point, we're just rolling with the punches, and most of our voice actors come from within the community, so you'll hear a lot of familiar voices across different machinimas. I will tell you that I'm really taking my time with this one. There's a few scenes where I'm venturing into new territory and I'm making sure that I get it right. I'm going to be looking over every single detail to make sure it's all in place. I'll probably hate the whole episode since I would have seen it a few hundred times just from the editing, but I hope you guys will love it. I know you guys noticed uh, kind of a new series pop up just out of nowhere. I never mentioned it. I just made it. And that is the origin stories. The origin stories are based on the brassonas of other machinimators. Um, it is kind of like the, I guess you can say the Marvel Cinematic Universe of the machinimators. Now these will be made randomly. Uh, I'll work on them whenever I have the time to, because now that I'm bringing back Ludus, it's gonna be hard with Chronicles of Ball and Ludus and then the origin stories. So the origin stories would be the lowest of priority on my channel and they'll be done on a random basis. So uh, there's no pattern to their release. There's just whenever I can work on it, it's just, I'll just put it out there versus Chronicles and Brawl and Ludus, I'm gonna try to rotate them by release Chronicles of Brawl, then release Ludus, then release Chronicles of Brawl, then release Ludus. Like how, how I originally had planned it. Um, but yeah, this origin story will be low priority. I wanna give a shout out to everyone who has inspired me. Wise Men the 13th, Smashing the New, Isaiah Cal One, Angelic Shine, The Hedgehog Engine, D Rage, everyone at the Retro Pixels and just just a community in general. We may have our issues time to time, but we definitely pull through for one another when we need it. Uh, be sure to keep up to date with us. We have a very interactive thing going on on Twitter, so you can reach all of us on there. I will put my Twitter link in the description and be sure to give me a follow. Once again, thank you all, and I hope to keep this channel going over the course of my journey into computer animation and have you guys watch me grow. Have a good day, everyone.